Ladies and gentlemen, we proudly welcome to the Hollywood Walk of Fame, Jerry Buss. On Monday, we lost who we all know to be the greatest owner in sports ever. He was a brilliant, incredible owner, but he was even a better person with a great heart. His vision has transcended the game, and we are all, all spoiled by his vision and by his drive to win year after year after year. During one of those meetings, Dr. Buzz said to Kobe, if I had a diamond of great value, four or five carats, would I give up that diamond for four diamonds of one carat? No. There is no equal value that we can get for you. A trade would not match what you bring to this team. He prevailed, and we won two more championships. There's a quote. There's a quote that I have above my desk. It reads, Unceasing change turns the wheels of life, so reality isn't shown in all its many forms. Dwell peacefully as change itself liberates all sentient beings and brings them great joy. The loss of Dr. Buzz has shown us one of the forms of life. We are here to reach, to receive and recognize that unceasing change and to express our loss. But also to celebrate a life that was a diamond of great value. I can remember the first time I met Dr. Jerry Buss. I was signed by Dr. Jerry West. Not Dr. Jerry West, Jerry West, excuse me. And he pulled me to the forum floor and Dr. Jerry Buss, Dr. Jerry West, and myself. And pulled me to the middle of the floor and he told me to look up and I looked up and I saw all the legendary jerseys and he was like, son, we expect big things out of you and some 18 year old kid by the name of Kobe Bryant that we just signed. We expect big things out of you guys. And the first four years were very, very rocky. But one thing I admired about uh, Dr. Buss is he never got upset. He had great patience. And after every loss, you know, we got swept by Utah, I think, four years in a row. Right, Magic? Got swept by Utah four years in a row. And he would call me on the phone and be like, it's okay, big fella. Don't worry about it. And then finally, we got the right combination. Uh, we got a legendary coach, and then we knocked off three in a row. And, you know, he would come to me and he's like, I told you, I told you we could do it. I told you we could do it. I just love the way he, he motivated us. He was definitely, he was definitely a, a great owner, one that the players love. He gave me everything I wanted. You know, I wanted, I wanted one extension, he gave it to me. I wanted a second extension, he gave it to me. I wanted a third extension, he traded me. The real purpose of what I do was to try to have the city totally involved and identified with it. And I wanted that when you think L.A., oh, wait, that's where the Lakers play. Lakers, Lakers, that's what I wanted. I'm going to miss him. I'm going to miss him. The man meant so much to me. I mean, I watched him just talk there and his beautiful smile and uh, his warm heart you know just his door was always open to anybody he helped so many kids go to college and and what he just said hey I wanted people to think about when they think thought about LA I wanted them to think about the Lakers and um, he accomplished his goal and this man has turned a city into Laker fans. I mean, this city loves the Lakers and adore the Lakers, but it was because of Dr. Jerry Buss and his vision. Um, 
it's going to be hard when you lose legends like Chick Hearn and Dr. Jerry Buss. But Dr. Jerry Buss, where do you go from here? I hope that his kids keep the franchise in the Buss family because that's what their dad would want. I hope they never sell the team. And God bless them. I love them. Thanks.